murder case of a Decatur woman that dates back to 2005 now has a suspect who has confessed to the murder, and the man you see right there on your screen is 78-year-old Samuel Little. He admitted to killing at least 90 people and now says he was the one who murdered Nancy Stevens. Way 31 Stephen Del Cizian joins us live now with what else we know about Little and this long-standing cold case. Yeah, Naja, Samuel Little is currently serving multiple life sentences for murders in California and now says he's the one uh, who's responsible for the death of Nancy Stevens, a Decatur woman, 13 years ago. Officials say Samuel Little has a long criminal history filled with assaults, robberies, and murders. Last month, Texas Rangers contacted investigators after Little confessed to killing a woman named Nancy years ago. And after some investigation, Little admits to riding in an RV with 46-year-old Nancy Stevens in Tupelo when he strangled her in the West Main Walmart parking lot and dumped the body to the side of the road. He said he knew the area very well from when he was there in 1995. Stevens' family says this confession helps. It don't, doesn't bring her back, but it brings closure. And in January, this case will be presented in front of a grand jury in Lee County, Mississippi. Reporting live in Huntsville, Stephen Delcizzi and Way 31 News. Little's confessed crimes span throughout the country. Every state you see here highlighted in red is where he says he committed a murder. We're talking California, up to Ohio, down to South Carolina. Little told police his first kill was in 1970. And then he continued to kill through 2005. And while he never killed anyone in Alabama, Stevens, of course, from Decatur. And we also found a report from Georgia which says he killed a woman there, but then drove across the state line and dumped her body in Phoenix City, Alabama. And our IBC affiliate out of South Carolina says Little targeted, quote, high risk, low profile women who were commonly referred to simply as Jane Doe's. They report Little was a former boxer and would knock out his victims and then strangle them. They said he then sexually assaulted many of them. Sexual assault examination kits confirmed at least 40 34 of the murders that he has admitted to. Way 31 also found a newspaper article from Columbus Ledger Inquirer out of Columbus, Georgia, where police reflected on their interviews with Little, and during that time, he confessed to killing three women in the area. One lieutenant said it was like, quote, talking to an old man you knew, and said that when they walked into the interview, the investigators, he said, call me Sam. Another said he was very intelligent, intelligent and said that he had a very calming presence. Right now on our homepage, waytv.com, you'll find the complete story about Nancy Stevens, her confessed killer, Samuel Little, and more on what her family is saying about this brutal past.